Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, today I just wanted to make a quick video um, Logic Pro 10 tutorial on the best way to automate volume um, in a session. So there's a couple ways to do it just with your out of the box Logic session. So first thing I'm gonna do is just create a quick um, sample of audio here. Um, I've got my default ES2 synth open here. I'm just gonna play a chord. Record that. We are just gonna trim that down. I'm gonna use Apple U to put the cycle only on this clip. So now it'll just play. I'm going to, looks like I started to play a little bit before our actual uh, recording starts here. When you have MIDI, if you start the playback in the middle, it's not gonna start. So what I'm gonna do is select all these, hit Q to bring them over and quantize them. And now when we click play, we'll go ahead and play that. Also, before I forget, um, in anything you're doing on Logic, um, you should put in a limiter onto your master stereo out. I like to keep that around minus one. That's gonna prevent us from uh, ever going over and start clipping. If anything ever gets too loud, you don't wanna hurt your ears, your speakers. Um, always nice to have a limiter on your master bus to prevent you from doing something bad. So now that we've got a little clip of audio there, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click A on my keyboard to open up automation in our view window here. I'm gonna close this, zoom in a little bit here. I'm holding shift option and scrolling. Now I'm just doing option and scrolling to bring that up. And once we have hit A and entered our automation, we can go ahead and click and that'll turn on. So right now we've got this volume automation. So this is the way that a lot of people start by doing your automation. You can basically add different points um, you can bring the level up or down to a specific point. So if we boost a bunch right here, you can see it gets much louder just for a second. We can extend that. We could do a gradual rise where it's going to get much louder. So here's what I don't like about this. This is actually affecting our master fader right here. So if we expand this a little bit, you can actually watch the fader itself gets automated. So here's where that becomes a problem. When you've got a master mix session where you've got lots of tracks that have lots of automation going as the track continues to develop and move forward, what can happen is you might want to adjust this master level so that it's consistent throughout the entire mix of the entire song structure. So what happens is when you automate and include the automation, it becomes very hard to make these slight overall mixing decisions. So if I've got three synths and I wanna bring just this one down in the mix, I'd have to then come in here, command A, or uh, go into my automation select tool and I'd have to manually bring all of these down in order to get our master fader here to actually move because otherwise it's going to snap back to wherever you automated it to. So here's how you get around this problem. In Logic, if you go to your audio effects and go to utility, there is a gain plugin. Now gain is just in this case going to add or reduce volume. And you can also see here that you get a much bigger range than you do on the fader. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my volume automation. You can see we're pretty low right now. Let's bring that back up to Unity. I'm gonna option click. And if you option click, it snaps it back to zero. And let's option click here so that our Gain goes back to zero. Let's add a bunch, 17 dBs, much louder. What we can do is click our drop down here. Now that we've added this plugin to our effects stack, the gain is going to appear in our automation list. 
we can go in here, click gain. I'm going to click T and then T again to get back our pointer tool. Click into the window and now we have a separate volume automation that we can include. So now we can include the effect of the crescendo where it very gradually in this case gets up um, while still being able to get master fader adjustments later in the mix. And that's why you want to use gain automation instead of the default volume automation. I hope that was a helpful tutorial. Um, let me know if you have any feedback down in the comments, any other tips you have for automation um, when it comes to volume and mixing. Um, thank you and have a great day.